Yo, yo, welcome back. Another episode of the Man to Man podcast. Yours truly, Darius Butler. Got my co host, Antoine Bethea. Yo, yo. We got a very, very special guest in the building today, man. Another Yukon. Another, what you, a 14, 13, 14 year vet? Man, Damn, you I, old I, now, I stopped, man. I stopped counting at the 10. Wait, hey, but we <laughs> old, man. Yeah. But yeah, man. V- NBA vet, Rudy Gay, man, in the building, man. What's good, bro? Ain't nothing, man. It's out here trying Ain't to. I'm actually in my gym right now. It sounds kind of, kind of loud. I'm in my gym, just finished working out, getting ready for the season. Okay, yeah. Speak, speaking of the season, uh, news came out. Uh, I believe yesterday that y'all was starting on the twenty uh, second. Now I know it was a little pushback in the beginning with scheduling. Y'all didn't want to go into the Olympics and all that. Yeah. How was uh, how 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 were those talks? Uh I mean, it wasn't much of a talk. Everybody, <laughs> everybody knows what you know. What, what powers you know our leagues? You know, it's mm-hmm. all about money. So you know, at the end of the day, um, the best the best money play was to be playing before Christmas and have those Christmas games. So um, yeah, you know that was, that was obvious. So I, I, although you know we were optimistic about having a little bit of time before uh, you know before before the season, but you know it is what it is. We gotta get back to work. Facts, facts. Yeah. So, have y'all talked about the logistics at all? Like, is it gonna be like bubbleish? Is it gonna how it's gonna be? I don't know. I think the NFL kind of showed us, you know, how, how to how to handle, you know, being able to go home and and do things and how to quarantine people and get them out if they do catch it. Because you know, traveling as much as we do, being around as much people, we yeah, are, it's, it's inevitable. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, uh, um, you know, it's 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 you know, wait to see. I mean, obviously, you see other other sports do it, but you know, after being in the bubble, you know, um. And having so much success in the bubble, you think, you know, I don't go back to it. Yeah, I I ain't trying to go back to that. No. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Speaking on that, man, how was it? I know as 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 athletes, man, we like we creatures to 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 routines. You know what I'm saying? So obviously, you know, if you got your own your restaurant, you like to go to on a certain day. Um, how was it, man? Just being in the bubble, being in hotel, not being able to see the fam. It was weird, man. I mean, just. Not being able to go home at night, sleep in your own bed, um, down to not even being able to shower after the game. You know what I'm saying? You got to leave. Uh, That's wild. Yeah, you know what I'm That's about the high school. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like the high school man. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, you know, eating in the same place, seeing the same people, being in the same hotel with the people you just played. Um, it was weird, man. But you know what I'm saying? We made it happen. Yeah, I definitely def- definitely did that. And obviously there was a lot going on around the world at that time when y'all went back. Yeah. So it was it was yeah. it was tough for many reasons. But y'all, I mean shit, y'all did a hell of a job as far as um, you know, following the rules and not having a bunch of cases. You see with the NFL, obviously you got a much longer season, a lot more people. You see a couple of cases here and there um as the weeks go on. But y'all, y'all, y'all kind of set the tone with it. So I mean uh, I don't, that's what's up. I don't know how strict the NFL is. I think we kind of we are kind of the first people to step out there, and they kind of what were, were real real strenuous on us and strict. But um, in the bubble was tough, man. Just being just being confined to one little space, a hotel room for two months. Myself, yeah, uh, you know, all the way to the finals. What's that like? Three or four months? So three months. So like it's mentally, mentally was it was that shit tough on you mentally? Shit, yeah, it was really tough. I mean, yeah. just. Going like, like you said, with creatures of habits, like you know, after mm-hmm. a bad game, you want to go home, you know, play with your kids and forget about it. You can't, you're just sitting there waiting on it and dwelling on it, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. So, hey, so a lot of people are always talking, they say, Hey, man, this this, this one, man, it got an asterisk next to it. What's your thoughts? I got my thoughts. I say, shit, If I had to do it, I feel like it'd have been one of the toughest things to do. But, uh, yeah. what's, what's your thoughts on that as far as the break? In the season, in the middle of the season, that four or five month break, and y'all come back. What's your thoughts on that? When you when we look back on this in history, you think people put that asterisk on it? And how I mean, do y'all I, feel? I think people will put the asterisk on it, but mm-hmm. as far as competitiveness, it was tough. Being having to make yourself get back in shape. Um and you know, yeah. like we're, we're human, like people want to go home, man. Like you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, to, to have the focus is want to stay out there and 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 finish the season and try to get that ring. You know, it's it's tough on people. Yeah. Yeah, I I think people, I think a lot of times people forget, man. You know, you see athletes on TV, you know what I'm saying? You see the luxury with it or whatever the case may be, but they forget, man. Like we deal with the same problems everybody else deal with. You know what I'm saying? Like mentally, like all of that. And you know, like you said, like being in it, 
shit i couldn't imagine just being in the hotel for for four months straight you know what i mean especially <laughs> for the old first for the older cats with for families cats and shit. Man, yeah, yeah you yeah, families yeah. and they think you think like like you said before like us athletes we, we understand each other but for mm -hmm. the outside person like yo it's a whole pandemic going on outside this bubble man people getting sit you weren't know where your parents are but your family safe um you know what i'm saying you know people not working you know what i mean it's a lot of issues you got to deal with we got to deal with and us being the, you know the, the, the cornerstone of our families we we're faced with those with those with those problems more than anybody else so you know everybody thinks that you know we just put go out there and you know throw a football catch a football shoot a mm -hmm. basketball no nah, it's more yeah. than that we, we human we got real problems man yeah. Facts. More, yeah. more than athlete, man. Hey, yeah. let's 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 get back to sports, though. Yeah. Football. Let's talk about football real quick. Baltimore, your Ravens. Obviously, they're one of the contenders in the league. Yeah. You got uh, you know, you got the reigning MVP right now with Lamar Jackson, one of the best defenses in the league. What's your thoughts on your squad? Obviously, our squads are facing off this weekend, but what's your thoughts so far on your squad this year? Um, you know, it's it's. I think we were riding off of the high last year. Mm -hmm. Um. Lamar had a great year, you know what I'm saying, MVP of the league. But I think, uh, you know, people forget how young he is, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. They, people expect him to be to be Tom Brady right now. Ah, it took Tom Brady some time, you know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah. it took everybody time to become the player they are. He's a great talent. You know, like I said, MVP of the league and is going to be around for a long time. But, you know, it, uh, you know, just like any sport, once they figure you out, you got to take your game to the next level. And, uh, you know, you got to yeah. do that. Yeah, I, th I definitely think that I, def I definitely think that's what it is now, man. I think that, you know, as far as like opposing defensive coordinators and you know, they kind of they kind of know, you know what I mean, how how to, how to game plan for them. You know, you got the RPOs, um, you know, you got your play action pass, you got your run. Mm -hmm. So, like right. you said, like like Lamar, you know, young, but yeah. um, you know, they expect a lot from him. But he, you know, like you said, he got to elevate. He got to take it to the next level. They really don't have that that vet on the offensive side of the ball right now. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, on the defensive side, you got the Calais Campbell. Uh, you got the Marcus Peters. So, you know, if it's if something is going wrong, you know, they can come to the sideline. Them guys can be that vocal right, that right. vocal presence. But on that offensive side, you know, even he's, even though he is young, I just feel like Lamar, man, he just got to take that next step. Yeah, he just got I mean, it'll, 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 you know, the thing about it is it's a long season, man. And, and Yeah. You know, we've seen before, you know, players learn from their mistakes early in the season, go on, have, you know, take teams to the Super Bowl. So, you know, it, it, it's it's possible. Um, but I think Ronnie Stanley going down is going to hurt us for sure. Oh, yeah, man. I'm glad he got his bag first. I'll tell you that much. Oh, yeah. for sure. Especially yeah. in our game. Our game ain't like y'all's. It ain't, it ain't that guaranteed money. Uh, so really give him a sign to get that back, man. I, I was happy for him to get that hundred before he we went got it. And it was yeah, well deserved too. Well deserved. Well deserved. Too. Earned mm -hmm. that. Yeah, he'll, mm -hmm. be, he'll be back. He'll be back. Did you all coming up? Did you play any other sports? Or no, straight basketball. Man, I played baseball. Baseball. I played baseball. What Look, position? I played center field pitch. Okay. Okay. It was crazy. I went out there and I was always a big kid. Mm -hmm. and I, I wanted to play football, right? The coach's son was a quarterback, so I mm -hmm. wanted to be quarterback initially. Man, he, ball in hand. he put me at left tackle, man. I was like, nah. <laughs> he wanted me, to, up, he want, he want me to protect his son. I said, no, I quit. I quit, man. <laughs> 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 nah, 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 man. So That's what? Crazy. So if you, if you would have grew up playing, let's say you played uh, football in high school, I'm assuming you did. You, you was probably all basketball. Yeah. Level. Right, yeah. yeah, at that point, I, I quit everything. I was playing basketball. Yeah, what 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 position? What, what would you have played? I had to be a QB, man. Still QB. I had QB. to be a QB. No, no I wide out, no receiver. I mean, nah, nah. I was, I was, you know, what I mean, I'm scared of, you know, jumping. <laughs> I was scared to jump. I got too much surface area, man. I was six seven in high school. Six seven. All right, so yeah. when you basketball players always talk about the growth spurt there. I'm, I'm I'm mad as hell. I ain't never had one of them. I was a hoop my whole life. Dudes be like, oh yeah, this summer I was I was six one. I came back, I was six eight my junior year. Like yeah. when did you have that growth spurt or was it kind of gradually you was always a big kid and you just kind of gradually just kept getting taller? I mean, I was always a big kid. I had two growth spurts though. After my eighth grade year, I was six foot in the eighth grade. Mm -hmm. um, that summer, going into ninth grade, I was six four. 
Okay. No so, way. and then after that, that next summer I grew, I was six, six. So from there on, I kind of gradually grew. I ain't stopped growing to, to UConn, to be honest with you. Yep. That's crazy. You, yeah, that, that's so what you, uh, six, nine, right? Yeah. Six, nine. Okay. UConn, man. We, wow. man. Good time. Yeah, it was good so, time. So, so you from you from Baltimore. Right. Um, you know, I'm probably like four hours down south in, in VA, right? So right. Baltimore got known for some of the best basketball in the world, man. Like growing right. up in that atmosphere, man. Like what? I was I know that. Come on, come man. On, you, you got, playing, you got, man. Come on, come on. I ain't know that, bro. I, I saw I saw the documentary. Come on, dude. If you add DMV, if you add DMV, if you add us to the DMV, it's over. It's done. It's it, yeah, it's ugly. It's, it's ugly. ugly. Yeah. Okay. So, so ain't no Florida talk on here today. Nah, so, it ain't, uh, nah, nah, we can't <laughs> So like growing like growing up, man, you know, obviously, you know, you balling or whatever. Who are the guys that you was looking up to, like as far as on the hardwood? Uh so I think what was it, 2002, 2003, Juan Dixon. Juan they, Dixon. They, they had won the um University of Maryland, they had won it. Um that's when I that's when I was in high school. Obviously, I felt like I was gonna be a pro or whatever. Not pro, but at least go to college. Juan Dixon, Sam Cassell. Mm -hmm. Uh Mello's a couple years older than me, so I always, you know, run into Mello. Me and Mello more than anything played against each other. He was I, I was always playing up. And, and I play against him, and he always knew I was a younger guy coming up. But yeah. mm -hmm. you know, he never took it easy on me. So like, yeah, I kind of took right, that right. personally until we until we became adults. And I'm like, man, you know, I appreciate <laughs> I appreciate everything he did. Yeah, but uh, you know, because doing stuff for people ain't always about handouts, doing anything. Sometimes you, you need that kick in your ass. Yeah, but, you know what I mean. Uh, who else? Who else? I mean, even Steve Francis. Yeah. DC, like, yo, yeah, yeah, that was yeah. that was one of my favorite players growing yeah, up. Yeah. Um, like people, people like that, yo. It's, it's like a lot of people within this, you know, within a like two to three, my, yeah, three hours yeah. drive that you know we we all kind of played against each other. Shit, even even Victor Page when yeah. he was at um at Georgetown with with with, with Chuck, man, like, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah y'all got a lot of that day that DMV that area. A lot yes. of hoopers done come out. When did you all um, like that? Because I know the AAU circuit was it's it's crazy now. Right. But you was already, I'm sure, in like the high high level. How yeah. how, how was that? Because like you said, it ain't like football. Like football is kind of like localized. Like you play against who you play against. But basketball, y'all get to travel. Y'all see the best of the best in different spots. How how was that coming up? I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Like AAU basically. Everybody I played against is in the league. Like I still play. <laughs> yeah. Like it was crazy how how we was how we was moving, man. It's like it's like everybody that you know was on the circuit and played against is like, man, we still talk about those days. Like the Marcus Aldridge, that's my teammate. Yeah. We played mm -hmm. against each other in high school. Um, Rondo, Josh Smith, Jr. Me and Jr. had some battles, like from fourteen on. Yeah, in the league. Um, that's crazy. Um, who else? Y'all competing oh, against it. the same cast from, yeah. from age 14 to 34. Yeah. 30 years old. Kyle, yeah. Kyle Lowry, Kyle Lowry, we, you know, that's from Philly, but we always played against each other. He was a little midget, but he was fast. <laughs> and he was and he was, you know, he was, he was like a bulldozer. Like he'll run through I, anything. Yeah, he, he played, he looked like he always played with that energy. Y'all yeah, had yeah. the big east, but is he there at the same time in the big east? Yeah, he was building over. Yeah, I'm saying okay. I, I want to make sure y'all didn't miss each other. So yeah, that's that's crazy. All right, tell me this then. I didn't even think about this. From that time, and I'm sure yourself. From that time when you see you know, you start seeing cats 14, 15, 16, and then you see guys in the league. Like who made like that biggest jump? Like oh shit! Like I didn't know he was gonna be this. You know what I'm saying on this level. Is it anybody that kind of stand out, or like all of y'all kind of just gradually grew year by year? I say Kyle because Kyle. Um, Kyle always went under the radar. Like he went to mm -hmm. McDonald's All American. Um, he just worked hard as shit, man. Like even like me and Kyle have been close for a long time. I used to like we actually lived together and worked out together for a good chunk of our NBA career during the summer. So like I yep. know, I just know how militant he was with his game and how he worked. And you know what I'm saying he and he and because he does that, he keeps that chip chip on his shoulder. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
My boy, yeah. my boy, uh, I got, I got a homeboy, Pat, man. He always, always raving about Kyle. Hey, man, Kyle Lowry don't get his respect, man. It's a Hall of Famer right there. That, yeah. that, 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 I respect, yeah. I respect this game, man. Yeah, yeah you got he, to. He, he play that shit the right way. He, he does the right way. Uh, everything don't come up on the stat sheet, but even like uh, when they won that ring, like he he, he showed up. He, he he's played. a leader. He's a leader. Yeah, he's a leader. He's going to set the tone. He's going to set the tone. But uh, that's what's up, man. Yeah. So that had to be a crazy experience. Yeah, I want uh, I want to ask you, man, you know, being in your league for so long, D-Buck being in your league. Um, but as a fan, like, I, you know, it's basketball first for me. You know what I'm saying? Growing up, that's what it was. So when I look at the NBA and I look like the brotherhood that y'all got, so talk about like the the cap situation in the league right so you had guys that was like yo i'm not doing this i'm not doing that but it kind of seems like for the most part when y'all move when y'all make a decision like y'all move together like kind of speak on that um that's the thing though it takes some time though because we got a bunch of <laughs> a bunch <laughs> of dudes you know with you know that got all they got their own their own thing going on their own uh individual thing but yeah you yeah. know michelle rob is a a, a, a president of uh of our uh, of our players association she not president but you know, she's hiding the president chris paul's the president mm -hmm. but she always makes sure that we are you know we are unified in our decisions so you know that she gets most of the credit but mm -hmm. um you know we, we we come together you know having cp as 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 our, our president he always you know he always listens and, and tries to make the right decision so it's um it's a collective effort but you know we all we are at the end of the day, yo, only it's the only way we have a voice, and this is a, anything in the li in life, man. You can't do anything on your own. You need people with you. Yeah, so, right. You know, united, united, we stand. Facts, man. I seen uh, Iggy. Iggy was a vice president. Now is that is that the first time he's been a vice president? I think it's been a couple, man, a year or two. But yeah, he's okay. another good one, man. He's 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 another person, a clear-headed person. Always makes the right decisions. Um, you know, and always thinks about you know not not just us as basketball players, but us as black men. Mm -hmm. you know, he's very big on that and uh, that's something that's something i always respected about him yeah that's what's up man so all right so we talked briefly about you getting to uconn what was that what was that decision like because i remember when you came obviously uconn you know y'all getting the best of the best five-star athletes and i remember uh hearing about you coming out like oh man he could have went to the league it was thinking about going to the league end up going to uconn yeah. who, else, who else was it between and uh and uh what, what made you decide to go to college it was Maryland. Hey, you stay, you stay, you stay. What sophomore yeah, year? Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was me. Um, it, no, it was uh, UConn, Villanova, Maryland, and Syracuse. Syracuse just off of Melo. My, my, you know, what I mean, my old off of the Natty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, you know, he they were coming after me hard because they want. I guess they wanted me to come in after him and, and, and do all that. I really didn't want to do that. I wanted to, you know, yeah. be myself. Right. Um. That's what. That's what got them out. Villanova. I don't know. I maybe maybe the small ball thing. Maryland, it was too close to home. Yeah. Too close to home. Um, Connecticut just seemed right. I had family in um and 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 in Hartford. Not Hartford. I had family in uh, New Haven. So okay. you know, I went up there, you know, they were just telling me about everything they were hearing in the news about them uh, recruiting me and all that stuff. Mm hmm And um, you know, I I went to like I did the whole McDonald's, the Jordan game, classic, all that stuff. And while I was there, you know, basically everybody went to the league. It was Dwight, Jr., Josh Smith, uh, Sean Livingston, uh, Al Jefferson. All everybody the jumped out. Everybody, everybody yeah. jumped out. And I just felt like it was oversaturated, man. And on top mm -hmm. of that, I really didn't want to be one of those guys that miss out on anything. I wanted to experience college. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Shit. Yeah, I wouldn't have met you, bro. Yeah, D fact, fact, <laughs> fact. But college was it was a, a hell of an experience. Obviously, it was a different, a, a much different, you know, choice for me in sport. And UConn was a basketball school. Shit, we was, when I went, y'all hey, was coming off of Natty men's yeah. and women's. So right. it, was, it was it was men's basketball, women's basketball, and football. football I put it to you like this. I put it to you like this. Going up up north to Connecticut, you from Florida, me from Baltimore, yeah. being you know, and, and being around you know people that look like us, right? Yeah. <laughs> Does it not? Did Connecticut not make you a better person? Just how, learn how to deal. With one one thousand percent. That's what it did for me. You know, obviously, you know, um, you know, it, it made me a better person. Made me understand, you know, people other than myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got out yeah. of that bubble. Yeah, got out of my bubble. Yeah. 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 It was it was it was a culture shock though for sure. Right. 
D but all we be talking about how he used to uh run an open gym with y'all, man. Y'all <laughs> yeah. with the women's, the men's, man. Hey, matter of fact, while we on this, while we on this, real quick, real quick. Uh damn, what was I talking? It's in the group chat, and then we'd be going back and forth. We'd be talking all type of shit. So a couple years ago, my boys was like, um, we was hooping, and it was like, yo, somebody like, man, you think you you think you'll beat Nate Robinson? Like, yeah, if I hope, like for real, for I've been playing, I've been playing football since high school. But if I went and like trained for real, you give me six months, yeah, 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 I like me over him. Shit, sure, why not? He'll probably say say the same thing in football. So oh, deep, deep, uh, deep, Nate Robinson deep. was uh he was all American football player. He, yeah, he played he yeah, went to UW probably. and played football. I mean, he, hell yeah. of an athlete, hell of right. an athlete. For him to even be on the court out there five, you know what? I don't know what they listed him at, but I seen he about five seven, five. Now, we, now we gotta get Nate Rob on the show. <laughs> got to. He gotta get well, him listen, on the show. I like D -Bun. D -Bun. D -Bun. Yeah, I like D me. <laughs> Deep Butt used to hold his own out there, though. I like me, man. Let me tell you something. Deep Butt was one of the best athletes I've seen, man. You know what I'm yeah, saying? True. He was. He would go out there and like, as far as like, he would he would play defense on us. Like, yo, like, man, chill out, man. This, <laughs> this, this, this is what he loved to do. Like, he loved to hoop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah I realized yeah. that Danny was pretty good too. Danny was yep. like a little mellow. Danny Lanzana. Yeah. Danny um, but yo, Deep Butt, you know, he could shoot. Yeah, he was an athlete. If you really took, if you really took it serious. You could have, you could have, you could have. What, what, what's the yeah. odds, man? What, what you think the score would have been? Game of 12, me and Nate. You right now? Nate. Man, Nate. Nah, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say in my prime. I'm going to say both, shit, both our prime. I'm going to say 28 years old. I got, I got six months to train. Man, six Nate months to train? Six months straight, but like real, like, like real, like training, like I'm training to go to the league or some shit. I mean, two days, all that. But that, well, okay, that's it. Oh, so you saying like the scenario is both of y'all are basketball players at this point, right? Facts. Yeah, I'll go with you. My you man. Big, you bigger, you athletic. I mean, My man. It's not easy, bro. That's it. I mean, you can't teach height, bro. In fact, you can't. You can't the length, but uh, oh. shit. Now we got get... what, what you got? What you got? I know you about to talk some shit. Nah, nah I ain't gonna say. I'm just saying, I, I gotta get Nate Rob. We gotta get Nate Rob. Yeah, we got you know what I'm saying? He got that fight nah. coming up, too. Let's see how he is with boxing. You think it's, you think it's easy just to switch sports? Oh, so that's the oh, Huh? Yeah, I got I hope so. I want to see it. Okay, yeah. I, I, he supposed to fight um Jake Paul, right? Yeah, yeah. You know how them I, boys is. They think yeah. they can just all of a sudden just be through something. That's a that's nah. a different that's a different monster right there. Just being an athlete, you can't just pop up and be no athlete. Man. Nah, I um I call myself training uh this spring and got to sparring a little bit with uh <laughs> <laughs> with, 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 with my guy, and he hit me in my nose one time, bro. Like you had the you whole, had the whole head gear on. Yeah, we had the head gear on, but still, like he 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 called me flushing my nose, like my Which, whole you my whole thing. I know yeah, I know yeah. <laughs> I, yo, I told, I'm like yo, time out, time out. Like hold on, chill. Like Man, you, should, you should get all about strategy so you get for real. Mouth, yeah, <laughs> like so, so good, that's. Man. That's a different Tyson, right matter there. Of fact, Tyson, Tyson was supposed to be fighting. They're not fighting no more, are they? Please, please. Yeah, they are. Him, oh, him, 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 him and Ward. I'm not trying to see that shit, bro. bro I watch Nate and, uh, and Jake. I'm not trying to see Tyson and Roy Jones. Bro, it's more even than what you think it is, though, bro. I'm saying, but bro, bro, they old, bro. Oh, that they mean, 50s, yeah. dog. Like, I, it, come on, somebody going to die. Yeah, I ain't trying to. <laughs> speak, speaking about that, you was at a fight where yeah. I thought somebody died. You oh had uh, Javante fight, right? I was right there, man. Yeah, how, right. how, how yeah. was that? Um, the thing about it is, it was, it was, it was, it was great to mm -hmm. be there. But you know, it, it just go to show how quick things can change, man. Mm -hmm. Javante's the type of person that's waiting for that one shot. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And he'll take some hits to get that one shot. Yeah. Now he was taking some hits, and I, I honestly felt like the scorecard was going against him at that point. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But, but that's the thing about boxing, man. With you know, you come in there. This is what I said. Tyson and 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 um and Roy Jones is more. It's more even what you think because only take one hit from either one. You know what I mean? That, I rather I rather take Roy Jones hit. Than <laughs> yeah, fact, that's a fact. Only take one hit, man. Yo, that but no, nah, he he really no, nah, he opened up and he, he took he got that uppercut in. Bro, that uppercut. They, they were doing a little sternum rub on. I was scared too. I was yeah, like, yo, I was, I was, I was, I was shook. I was yeah, shook. I was, I was telling D. Butt, I've been knocked out on the field, and you know when I hit the ground, I came too. But Buddy was on the, he was on the, on the canvas 
Yeah, he was for out a minute, of that. For a minute, for a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was out of I'm, I'm, I'm straight on that boxing shit. <laughs> cool. I mean, for, it, it ain't like football was safe, but at boxes, like, nah, yeah, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm cool on that. You yeah. can't depend on your teammates on that. Yeah, ain't no team. That's one on one. Mano, I, mano. How was it? I ain't even get a chance to watch. I saw the highlights. Did they have? How was the crowd? How many people was there? Um, I think it was at like twenty percent capacity. Okay. So yeah, it was so decent, it was real man. spread out. It was decent. I mean, it was. I don't know, man. With this stuff on, you gotta find some way to get back to normal. But you know, yeah, you gotta try. Yeah, you gotta try. Yeah. Yeah. I so think like that been was in successful. that ring without that crowd. Yeah, you you a big time fighter. I'm sure that was a little different for him. You yeah. know, not having that same. You know, when he's still coming up, but you know, he 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 a big name. He a big draw at this point. Yeah, he's so, a big um, draw. Yeah, yeah. I'm look, I'm looking forward to him continuing to fight, man. Are you are you a boxing guy? I am. All right, who you top, top fighters out there, man? I don't know shit about boxing. <laughs> <laughs> I know Floyd. If Floyd was on, I'm, I'm, I'm locked in. You're watching that. I'm you know, watching look, Floyd. Your boy Lomachenko just lost to Lopez. Lomas. Yeah. Oh, Tia Fima yeah. Lopez. Um, you know, it's it's a it's a lot of people. Yeah, you yeah. got Crawford it's, out there. Crawford, yeah, Spence. What's up, boy? Like so who, who, who the biggest draw? I, I think I saw Floyd on ESPN going back and forth with Max about He was saying Tank was the biggest draw. I mean, and, I agree. Uh, I think you were saying Canelo. So what's I mean, your opinion on that? Canelo is, you know, he 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 is he got the whole Spanish world. So you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So yeah, he's a big draw, and that's what he, you know what I'm saying? That's what he plays off of. But other than that, I think Tank is the biggest draw. Like he's Mike Tyson. He's a baby Mike Tyson. And you know, nice. people like that's the thing. People people don't want to get in that ring, but people like to see people get knocked out. Knocked out, yeah. That's a fact. And that's, that's what a fact. I want to see you get up, but I definitely want to see your action yeah, knocked yeah, out. Yeah. But because it, it was so crazy with Mike, like you knew the round, it wasn't going past round two, but people were still going to order that pay per view just to see it. Just to see it, man. They gonna waste that, waste that money to, just to see three rounds of boxing. That's why you gotta get, you gotta see them undercards, man. You gotta see who coming up next. Coming up next, yeah, true, yeah. true, true, true. Hey man, all right. Let's get back to your 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 path, man. So now you're in the league. You go to right. UConn, play two years at UConn, jump to the league. But you went eight. Yeah, you went eight, right? Yes. Yeah, so you go to the league, get traded on draft night. Right. How 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 was that, man? The draft process, and then you know, ending up ending up in the league. Um, yeah. dream come true. It was it was a dream come true, but I honestly I felt like like I I. I just felt like it was supposed to happen, like it was destiny for some reason. I wasn't too, yeah. I wasn't too high, I wasn't too low, and I think that's probably why I jumped out there like I did. Like I, did. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, you you put the work in, you know, you expect things. You know, what I'm saying results. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But when people, people, a lot of people expect things, don't put the work in. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just, now it's a surprise. Now, nah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So, and that's you know what I mean. But at that point. I was just ready to go wherever it was. It happened to be mm -hmm. in Memphis, and um, you know, that's why I started my career. I think that's where I made my mark in the league. Even though I don't yep. think that's where I played my best basketball, that's where I made my mark. Yeah, you, should, you was young, man. Young, learning the game, man. Who was like? Then you played. You had AI. Man, I didn't you play with. Right? Play with right. some greats. I'm Actually, saying early though. You got. I played with well, Steve Francis, your boy. Franchise. Oh, yeah, he he was, like he was in a. <laughs> he was in a trade with us. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Lionel Hollins was notoriously, like, militant about everything. So he got the trade. He chained to Memphis before Houston. I forgot who it was for. But he practiced. He practiced. He played well in practice. Um, we had a game the next day. First of all, in between, this is when Lionel first got there. So in between, mm -hmm. he's like, man, y'all out of shape. We got to practice. So we had two practices in a day. So Steve Francis comes in. He practiced with us. You know, he, he, he like, man, y'all practice like that? Damn. Damn, shit. <laughs> so we practice everything. We get to the we get to the game and he don't play. This man yeah, packs his after stuff. practicing hard too. After he practice. packs his stuff and goes back to Houston. <laughs> Never played an NBA game again. Oh wow. <laughs> All you do is wow. about to be, do is about to be. I'm like, like, I don't, I don't like, remember him playing in Memphis. Man. He's like, he's like all, this, all this practice and I ain't gonna play. I'm rock. good. Yeah. I'm good. Pack this shit and, and, and I, hey. Got to respect it. Well, yeah, he had to be deep in his career yeah, at that point. He, yeah, he was OG at that time, right? Yeah, he was. He was about 12, man, 13. Yeah, man. I don't know how many so, years he played. Who kind of who kind of showed you the ropes, man? Was it anybody that kind of, you know, showed you the lay of the land once you got to the league? Damon Stoudemire. 
Damn, okay. Yeah, yeah, he was another guy. I like, yeah, I used to. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, he, he always, like, I still talk to him to this day. He always had, you know, try to coach me. I played with a lot of guys. And some couple of guys, you know how it is. Some of these guys, you know, it's competitive. You know, everybody trying to get your spot. So, yeah. They ain't trying to give you that game. No, nah, no, nah, they, they trying ain't to trying to give you all of it. <laughs> no, nah, no. Nah. I mean, Mike Miller was good because he, he was just, you know, he was just a vet. He was a pro. He came in, did his work every day, left. Went home, came in, and gave it his all on the court. You know what I'm saying? He didn't yeah. shoot the shit out the ball. You know, and you see why. It's, you know what I mean? He he works on it. Worked at it. Yeah, I love I love Mike Miller. I'm a Heat fan. Lifetime Heat fan. Lifetime. He, and he and he was he was down. He did work yeah, for us. He's, he's for y'all. Yeah, he's big. Playing. He's big, big, big role player for us yeah. down here, man. Heat fan, Laker fan, Clipper fan. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> Mike fan. Push this shit up, man. Man, that's boy. Oh, man, you crazy. That's boy. Cool, <laughs> boy. Come on, man. That's it's boy. Cool. Like that, Can you feel the heat down? Hey, my dogs, man. Boy, Were you surprised cool. they made it to the finals? I was. I was. Yeah? I was. But know what? You know, when you got someone like Jimmy that's determined, mm -hmm. and I think that's why people, like, put that asterisk on this because, you know, when if you ain't had that mental toughness, in a bubble, Fact. you can't, you can't, you can't play. I'm not saying that's why they made it. But I'm just saying yeah. they did make it. No matter how they made it, they made it. They made they it there. right. Kind of way. So they, they, they weren't the most talented team for sure. No, but um, but you saw, you did see in the bubble though. Like you saw some cats like who you wouldn't expect, you know, and come out there and really play some of their best basketball. And Man, you had some cool. guy, and, oh, and you had some guy. That you expect to come out there and they ain't do nothing. So yeah. facts. I ain't facts. saying no names. Ain't say no that's the fact. That's a fact. Yeah, that's, no, that's, that's, that's why you look at it both ways. That's real basketball because yo, a lot of them guys play off the crowd and get the you know play off. Mm -hmm. You know what? Mm -hmm. I mean, and the referees play off the crowd sometimes. You know oh, what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I, 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 I ain't never think that. of yeah, me neither. You know what I'm saying? They play off the crowd too sometimes. Sometimes, you know, if you you get pressured into calling them calls, man. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, that's a fact. It definitely happened in football. You make a play oh, and it yeah. be, oh, yeah. oh, boo, and they throw the late flag, late PI. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, ain't, I ain't think about They're that human. though. They're human, man. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah. you know, it, you know, it's it's just at the end of the day, it's it's basketball. Nobody in there yeah. but us and, and and a couple guys. You know what I'm saying? You have Russ going out there yelling at the crowd. It's literally five people in this thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so. Who are you yelling fact. at at that point? Especially yeah. for y'all, because y'all been playing in front of the majority of y'all been playing in front of big crowds. You know, pretty yeah. much y'all yeah. since y'all been 10, eight, teenagers. So yeah. um yeah, that had to be much it's different. I'm sure these, these cats that's playing football right now, I couldn't I can imagine playing an NFL football game with twelve thousand fans in there. Like that's that's crazy. How about this? Bro. Imagine hearing everything somebody's saying about you. No, oh, yeah, <laughs> that's a fact for the, for the, yeah, uh, for the first time. Yeah. All the game, team, though. Other team, all that, like the players, whatever. I'm yeah. surprised. I'm surprised it wasn't more more altercation. More scrum, yeah. Well, shit, we saw we saw altercation in uh <laughs> in the Saints Bears game. <laughs> last week. That, yeah, that yeah, shit yeah, was wild. Wow. You ever seen some shit like that on the court? Yeah, I've seen so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I've, I've seen that. I've seen that. Remember Practice how, or games. Definitely in practice. Uh, that, but, okay. You know, I've seen coaches fight players, players trying to fight coaches. I've seen <laughs> players fight players. I, mean, I love it. I've seen everything. Hell yeah, it's hey, going to happen. Hey, that yeah, it's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> you got you got all the men in there, all that pride, ego. I love yeah. it. It's yeah. It's going to happen. And I love it. I love it. Man, I, I want to go back to the be more, man, because, <clears throat> you know, um, you know, it, it's not easy, you right. know what I'm saying, getting up out of there. Um, like you said, you 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 at your gym now in your right. hometown. Like, what, what what does that mean? Being able to go back, putting the gym in there. I'm pretty sure the youngest coming in and do what they do. Um, how how does that feel? How does that make you feel? Man, it just feel good to just be able to contribute to you know another player, another player coming up and trying to do what I did. Um, yeah, you know, I was always I was always the person to share share knowledge. So it feel good to be able to put a safe place for people to come in and play basketball and just, just hoop, just go in and hoop, pick up, whether you want to shoot, do whatever, pick up USA is, you know, a safe zone. We don't, you know, we don't play none of that, tolerate none of that bullshit. You just come mm -hmm. in and play basketball and, and you know, being be a man, being a dog, go on there, handle your business and go on about your business. How long you had it there? How long has it been open? Man, look, it opened right 
before COVID. So, you know, it, oh, man. And, yeah. So, you know, that, that, that hurt us, but you know, you know, this is, it's basketball and this is a basketball city. So, you know, we're going, we're going, we're going to, we're going to be all right. That's what's yeah, up, man. That's, that's a good up. thing about basketball too, man. Like you could really be a, you could really be a gym rat. You know yeah. what I mean? Football, like you can only do so much, you know, by yourself or with a couple of people like hooping, like, you could really, all right, I'm going to go to the gym, put up however many shots. You know, That's why it's true. It's it. truly, a, I think, you know, obviously football and, and is, is the most watched, but I think America's sport really is basketball. Cause it's so man, easy. Hell no, nah, man. <laughs> it's easy, yo. Like, no, nah, yeah. I'm saying, like, if you if you got a rim in the basketball, you can go hoop. I think that's why y'all are more international because you, you know what I mean? Like, it's it like, but, but football, though, that, that's that. No, you know. you, no, 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 I'm saying to watch it is. It is because sure. you, you need that violence, man. You want to watch them okay. get hit. Yeah, like, <laughs> like you said, we like we like we like watching motherfuckers get knocked out. Like but, when it's a fight in but, school, like everybody, hey, you know what's happening? It's just, how, right, right, right. How easy, you how, that control violence. How easy is it for you to go shoot though? You did it while you was playing. Like you could, very, you could very, throw it. Very I could true, do it while I That's how I stayed in shape. Yeah, yeah. yeah fact. That's a sure fact. That's a fact. Everybody got their um, they intramural leagues. They they thirty and over leagues, forty and over leagues, Boy, fifty right. over. Yeah, so and it be full of y'all football players. Man. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we took we took intramural dead ass hey, serious. Damn, yeah, damn. We got practice, man. Oh. Be on time. We out here, man. Come on, we got man, a reputation. Man, I, had, I had to sneak and play with y'all, man. They used to get mad. At me. <laughs> I already know. Yeah, you don't play with them football players. Yeah, you yeah, already. Hey, yeah. Bro, hey, listen, no, them we, bro, we used to play y'all, but we. Play the women, but it's a pride that gave me a whole new respect for man. female sports because you know coming up as a man, you you see it and you see you know you it's like ah, yeah whatever getting the UConn and seeing like and obviously they are the you know elite of elite how Gino runs their program and the thing about them every like top dog that come in whether it's Maya Moore, Deanna, Free Stewart like they the hardest working one on the team so they okay. set that tone and like seeing them in practice every day renee montgomery and keisha yeah. and all your hosts, but Mel, like they used bubbles. to really they used to really go like they used to really play like 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 grown like hey shout out to renee too man she really fact. She oh, yeah, doing she thing. She, yeah she she really enforcing change so you know shout out to oh yeah renee. big shout out to renee man another uconn alum um set out <laughs> set out this past season actually you know to keep pushing the um pushing it forward same thing with maya moore she set out um and, and you know did her thing but uh yeah for sure and renee will be on here she told me she had to come on she had to wait till after the election election <laughs> should be over <laughs> see see she, she going me. She yeah, she, man, she, man. Yeah. That's big fact. I wouldn't be surprised at all to see her as uh, an elected official uh, in in the near future. But um, big big shout out to her, man. No, for sure. Hey, we got a couple questions off of, off of Twitter, man, from uh, Gabriel Gabriel Rios. Um, is Spurs a place you will want to stay for years? And which young player in the Spurs is he close to and train with? Um, yeah, I mean Spurs can be somewhere, you know, but you know. I've been a part of this league. I know the business of it. So whatever right, happens, right. happened, but you know, um, I love, I love being a Spur. Love playing for the Spurs. Um, what young player? You know what? I mean, Demar's obviously my my best friend. One of my best friends in you know in life, not just in the league. But yeah, um, I think Keldon Johnson is going to be really good. Man. Keldon Johnson. Keldon Johnson. Yeah, he he he's in the D League all year. He played up with us in in the bubble, <laughs> and he and he, he really he he could be really good. Yeah, how is it? Uh, how is it playing for playing for pop? Because in, in my in my opinion, and I'm a, I'm a life lifetime basketball fan. You know, Phil Jackson's obviously mentioned at the top a lot. For me, I I, I will put pop in that in that in that position as as a probably best coach ever. Uh, who who what, what's your what's your thoughts on pop, man? How you feel about playing with pop? Yeah, he's definitely um, he's definitely he's definitely one of those coaches that uh, you know, guys to be considered as one of the best. I think yeah. he's. You know, he's, you know, he's one of those, I mean, you got to think, like, somebody that's won five championships, you got players that haven't won shit that got egos, you know, so he definitely knows that he's one of the greats. Yeah, yeah. And he, and he carries it like that. So, you know, mm -hmm. it's, 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 and it's, it's, you know, how it is with, with coaches sometimes, but, you know, he's, he's, he's great. He's great. Yeah. And he's always, he's always demanded the best out of his players and, you know, he's going to always be there. 
Yeah, I re I respect him for what he be saying, how he speak his mind out when they when it come to issues too. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's bigger. It's bigger than basketball. Boy. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, for yeah. sure. And I re I respect the hell out of that, especially she from be older, older white man. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. You, don't, you, you don't see that a lot. Older white man, obviously in a position of, you know, power and privilege. A lot of times over the history, you don't see guys kind of put there. And I feel like he been putting his neck out there. You know, it ain't like pop going nowhere. Like you know what I mean, but. He definitely been speaking his mind, so I, I definitely respect yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely he's definitely aware of politics. Um, yeah, you know, I like that. Honestly, I'd like to see him in one of those debates. I think it'll be funny. Y'all don't know that side, <laughs> but I, I think that's nah, be funny. You got, that, got, that, got that dry humor. Yeah, yeah. I, I, him and him and Belichick, I I, I feel like are, are very similar in a lot of ways. Now, yeah. when it comes to that off the field and speaking out on social issues, that's what Pop separates himself. When it comes to like how they interact with the media and people outside of that building, man, yeah. bro, that, that 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 shit is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, that shit is hilarious. Hold on, we got a, we got another one. Let's see. Oh, you already answered this. If not, UConn, what other school? Blah blah blah. It's another one up there um, about all the greats that you played. Well, you kind of answered it earlier too with uh, with, with Stoudemire, but like the best teammate, the best teammate you had, best teammates I had, um, as far as far as basketball, like a playing or or as far as I mean, like I, my for, favorite teammate. Yeah, I was your favorite teammate. Like regardless, like you know, teammate you chill with off the court. You know what I'm saying? You watch film with, train with, rock with, whatever. I mean, those Memphis days, you know, with Mike and, and Mark and Zebo, Tony, you know, they always go. I'm always remember those days. I think mm -hmm. um, when I got traded to Toronto, me, Kyle, and Demar, we were like, you know, we we, we were all we all really close. Um, I'm always remember that. Like, I still mm -hmm. like we, we still we still in the group chat to this day. Yeah. But, um, like I said, I've known Kyle since we were 14. Also, so that's another thing. Um, you know, when I play with Demar again now, I think my most talented had to be Demarcus Cousins for sure. Mm. Boogie, yeah, He's man, talented. I hope you, I hope you get back healthy. Yeah. My, my, I hated talented. to see, I hated to see Boogie go down, man, back to back yeah. years like that because he was a dog, bro. Like a a dog. dog. Yeah, I, I love watching Boogie play, man. Super talented player. Didn't really. Wasn't fast, couldn't jump high, but he knew mm -hmm. how to do it. He yeah, do it. yeah. So you are uh, you kind of look you kind of talked about it a little bit earlier, but um, you know where you feel like you played your best basketball in the league was it Memphis, uh, Toronto. Where was it at Sacramento? Where you feel like you played your, personally your best ball? Because what you know numbers and stats and whatever gonna say what they say, but what would you say was your best your best time? <clears throat> I'd say I really came into like being a complete basketball player. The time mm -hmm. I became a complete back, the the free thing with my the thing with my <laughs> the thing with my career is like when I was supposed to be like that guy that was supposed to just go out there and get buckets. Mm -hmm. I just did it on the wrong teams. Now, yeah, I became a complete basketball player when I was with between Toronto and Sacramento. I feel like I have my best numbers as far as. As far as you know, contributing with with, with whether assist or, or mm -hmm. making that right play and all that, it's just because it was a naturalization in my my game. Um, yeah. Again, in the beginning, I was just going out there to get buckets because that's what I was trying to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but I became I became a real basketball player between Sacramento and Toronto. Um, I played my best. I played my best basketball probably in Sacramento, but. It's just we didn't have any pieces, man. Actually, my coach, I'm not going to name his name, but you mm -hmm. know, I had a bunch of them, but I had a coach that come up to me and was like, man, who do you have in the all-NBA season? It's just we, we can't – we don't have enough players. We don't have enough. Yeah. Yeah. And you know I know that I, I know that got to be that got to be frustrating, got, man. Got yeah. to. Got it, to. it was. It was frustrating. But, you know, that's my job. My job is to go out there and play basketball, so I did it. Yep. That's my ability. So um, it just is what it was. We still got our bet too, even though nah. I'm done. I'm watched. I'm on, <laughs> nah, I'm on, the, I'm on the podcast scene. We what, still got that, our bet. I, no, what's I, that I, bet? I remember. I remember we was in, what's in that bet? and we played. We yep. played that year, and mm -hmm. I was out there. I was trying so hard, and we ended up losing. He was like, "He came to me at the game. You sit in front of him. He's like, "Man, you need yep. help." 
<laughs> and you can, I mean, you can tell it, and you need it, bro. Especially on that court, you, you can be balling, but you need you need the help, man. I that felt is. like I definitely felt like you had some years. You definitely should have been an all star, and that was the bet. That was I was our bet because I was you know obviously trying to get to a pro ball doing the all star thing. So that was our bet. All right, whichever one of us make it first. Uh, we got, uh, what was we the, could what we was could tweak it a little bit, man. Like, okay, you get, you know, I don't know, something with the podcast or some shit. Yeah, yeah, we go, we go figure, we go, we go adjust business wise. Yeah. We could do that now. We all yeah, <laughs> with it, man. And let's talk about business, man. Let's talk about business. So we mentioned uh, Iggy earlier, and I know I follow, um, I follow a lot of athletes and what they're doing off the court, off the field. You yeah. know, he's big, kind of like that VC space. VC he was one of the space. first athletes yeah. that I actually see talking about stuff like that. And um, that's kind of why we started this podcast, honestly, to open up that dialogue, not only on the court, on the field, but off, you know what I mean? Because we humans at the end of the day, it's going to be a lot longer, a lot more important moments that happen off the field, off the court. So um, business wise, was it anybody or anything that helped you, whether in a locker room or on your personal team that you hired that just helped you kind of become more business savvy? Be like, all right, let me align with these things, whether it's investments, what's to do with your money, things like that. I think it's just competitiveness, man. I, I think that's that's what hurts us as as, as you know athletes, you know, and, and black men, you know, yeah. competitiveness. Like, yo, my investment is better than yours. I'm gonna go get this. I'm gonna put this money, and it hurts because we don't share knowledge. Right, right. Um, right. But you know, like a lot of a lot of times, it's just what I've done is just based off of uh, it's based off of my gut feeling. Like I I, I invested in uh, hyperice. Ten, uh, like twelve years ago. Ooh, yeah. early, yeah, early, early ago. Game. Yeah, I was an angel investor, and you know that paid off, and it's paid for some of the some of the fuck ups I made, you know, investment wise. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you know that's what that's what it's about, though. You, you know, you just gotta have more wins. You have losses, it's, you know. Yeah, that's it. And like you said, sh sharing that knowledge, man. Sharing, sharing that game because yep. paying you. Form. Yep, facts. When you come around, when you around other other business people, and like you said, with black men, for some reason, that's just how it's been but we got to change we got to be a part of that change because so i know competitive, so competitive, yeah man. yeah facts man i know some of my like wealthy or rich white friends and like it's really about deal flow obviously being who you are being in the rooms and the dinners or whatever that you at you're gonna be you're gonna have opportunities like that hyper price opportunity like you're gonna have opportunities right and for us it's like shit. if i ain't gonna invest and in, i ain't gonna do a shit, i ain't gonna tell nobody i ain't gonna tell nobody it's like nah this may not be the right thing for me I, maybe i don't believe in it that much but, but I can look, put my man on. Sure, I put you. I know he into that. Let me yeah, holler right. at him about that's this. What it's about. That's what it's about. And that's what we do. Back and forth. Back and forth. And it's so enough out there for everybody, so man. man. It's enough out there nah. for everybody. Oh, yeah. yeah. For sure. Yeah. 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 That's more than enough, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. But, yeah, man, this is a good one, man. Anything else you want to touch on, man? You want to holler at Pauls? <laughs> uh, no nah, man. I mean, just, you know, good talk to you, man. We could talk offline about investment and stuff. But, you know, other than yeah. that. Other than that, man, just thank you for having me, man. Hey, pick man, we have USA hey. Towson, man. That's why I'm at hey, right now. Shout it out again, yeah, man. Let's yeah, one more time. Man. Pick up USA Towson. All know, right, Towson, get, your, get your hyper bolts. Do all that. Yeah, <laughs> man, go get right, man. Go in there and be a gym rat, man. You already know, bro. Man, get, get right, man. But uh, nah. hey, appreciate you again, bro. Nah, nah I sure. appreciate y'all too, sure. man. So there you have it, another episode of the Man to Man Pod. Um, I may be got my calls there as Butler. Yes, sir. Say one more time, man. Thank you to Rudy Gay, man, coming up and chopping it, chopping it up with us. Uh, great conversation, great insight of um, you know him being from Baltimore, going to UConn, his time in the league, um, and also off the field what he what he's doing uh, for the for the youth in Baltimore as well. So definitely, that's big, out. man. That's big. Yeah. yeah, real big. That's what it's all about, man. Paying yep. it for, as we always talk about on this show. Um, and you know we we do more than just what we do on the on the field or on the court so um again major shout out again you know what to do tell a friend and tell a friend follow yes, us follow us on ig follow us on twitter the man of man pod five uh, stars five stars we need that and yes, once sir. again we'll see y'all next week we out we out